All right, so uh, here I am again with uh, another Windows 7 video. Um, this time it's going to be for Need for Speed Shift. Those who are having problems with blank screens or a black screen, uh, here's the easiest way to fix it. Um, it doesn't have to do with patches or anything. It actually just has to do with compatibility mode. Um, no, it's not the XP compatibility, mean compatibility mode or Vista, but it's actually Windows 98 or uh, Millennium compatibility mode. So uh, in order to do that, for those that don't know how to do it, uh, you go to your need for speed directory and then you go to shift.exe and you right click it, go to properties and then click the compatibility tab. Now you check off run this program in compatibility mode. You check that off so you can enable the the, da the um the option menu and uh, you can actually select uh, all these different types of operating systems of uh, Windows but what we're going to select is Windows 98 and Windows Millennium so we click that and we press OK and then we run the game by just double clicking this and run it so you'll see that it'll work and then you can see it, it'll start up there won't be any blank screen and it'll just continue. So we select English. So there you go, it runs. You can click on career mode, you know, check out your stuff, this and that, car battle. And we'll load up this to show you it works. Mitsubishi is pitting their cars against each other today. Right, we couple get seconds to green. Remember, just get ahead of him by five seconds and cross the line first for the win, okay? Green, go, go, go. Alright, so there you go. That's Need for Speed Shift on Windows 7 64-bit edition. If you guys any have any uh, problems or questions, please leave a comment. And there you go. Um, and it's an ad addicting game, so I recommend it for anyone who hasn't played Need for Speed Shift. Uh, and it's good if you have a steering wheel. I was just using the keyboard. <laughs>